Drug maker Eli Lilly, which makes injectable GLP-1 drugs, says that it has created an effective pill form of GLP-1. That drug helps people with type 2 diabetes lose weight and also lower blood sugar. So joining us this morning to explain more is 9 News health expert Dr. Pyle Coley. Thank you so much for coming in. Good morning. Appreciate it. Okay, so for full disclosure, Dr. Coley, you actually consult for Eli Lilly, who makes the drug. What is your reaction to this medication? Honestly, guys, when it comes to cardiometabolic disease, I don't think we can have enough drugs. And, you know, it's estimated that 50% of Americans will be obese by 2030. If you look at cardiovascular kidney metabolic syndrome, which is a precursor to cardiovascular disease. 90% of Americans today have it. So now having another drug that's safe and effective, taken as a pill, drops not just your blood sugar by about 1.6% as measured by the hemoglobin A1C, but drops your weight, 8% in diabetics. To me, this is a huge, huge tool in our toolbox. Other than that, it's in pill form. How is this drug any different? Yeah, so a few differences here. So the pill form makes the bioavailability, the amount that gets into your bloodstream a little bit different. So it doesn't work quite as well as the injections, but it's taken every day as opposed to the injections that are taken once a week. It's also a little different from the Novo drug. So Novo had a similar drug like this that is already on the market called Rebelsis, but that drug, there's a lot of uh, changes in how it, uh, it changes how your food is absorbed. So it, basically you have to be very careful what you eat. You have to take it a certain time mm -hmm. of day. This one is not a peptide, so you can take it at any point of day. That's a huge advantage. Is this just for people with diabetes or also for people who want to lose weight? So this particular trial was just diabetes, but they've already looked at the people that want to lose weight that don't have diabetes. And now you're talking about an oral agent to get weight off of people, which in my mind is huge because A, it's a lot cheaper to make an oral agent mm -hmm. than it is to make an injection. So you're going to get it into more people's hands. And B, people sometimes are nervous about injecting themselves yeah. and what have you. So they already reported on the weight loss last year, and you can lose about 9 to 15 percent of your wow. body weight just by taking this pill. That's a big deal for anybody who might be pre-diabetic. Very much so. So you're talking about, again, the spectrum of cardiometabolic disease. We're focusing really on diabetes and weight. But if you look at this class of agents, there was a trial that came out earlier this year that it actually protects your kidneys. Oh. There was a trial that came out last year that says it reduces heart attacks and strokes. Interesting. So now you're talking not just about melting away the weight, improving the blood sugar, but actually keeping people alive longer, protecting their organs, and really changing the whole course of their lives. What are the side effects? So what we would expect, it works in the gut to slow gastric emptying. It changes your kind of appetite regulation. Mm -hmm. So nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, those were the biggest side effects. A little bit more with the pill than with the injection, because if you think about it, it's right in the gut itself. So about 8% of people stop this because of side effects. So still the majority of people were able to tolerate it. But the side effects were mostly mild or moderate. So n no surprises, unlike Pfizer, which had designed a product that actually caused severe liver reactions mm -hmm. that they actually had to get rid of it. Just quickly, because we are out of time, when will this be available? So they're filing for weight loss later this year, 2025. They're going to file for diabetes 2026. So we're talking within the next year, we should see this in your doctor's office. And again, if you've been afraid of taking the injections or the cost has been prohibitive, we're hoping this is a lower cost option that's more accessible. All right, Dr. Coley, thank you so much.